of a conspiracy. This is a this is a legal discourse on it right here. Um this is a lawdictionary.org forward slash conspiracy. Put that in um, as a reference so the people can read the law themselves so they don't have to rely on a person with no degrees. They can rely on all these people with the degrees that make the law and enforce it. So they can read this. We're going to come back to this. This ain't the one I'm looking for. Um, this might be the one I'm looking for right here. Yes. This section right here, I'm going to highlight it for y'all before I read it. All right, now, now, basically, it says, okay, Portia, this is on FLETC.gov forward slash audio forward slash federal dash conspiracy dash law dash MP3. So if you could put that in for a reference, I'm gonna read this, and then I'm, a, I'm um, while I'm talking about it, I'm gonna show you the link at the top. So it says there are basically five elements for the crime of conspiracy. Those elements are one, it got to be two people or more than two people. It can't be one person in a conspiracy by themselves. It need at least two people to be in the conspiracy. The next thing you need is it got to be an intentional agreement between these two people um, that's element two and three two says it, it got to be intentional three say it got to be an agreement right the fourth one is to violate federal law or defraud the United States and then the fifth one is you have to do one thing commit a overt act in furtherance of the agreement uh, Kareem, give me a keep going if you got all five elements. And y'all can see the five elements right there. So I'm waiting to see if Kareem got all five. Yes, sir. We uh, The language, uh, Kareem want me to touch on the language. Legalese is Latin, English, and Spanish fusion language used to confuse the common person. And, um... Yep, that's right on that first one, 33 minutes, yep. So, um, to, to know what the law says is to take the mystery out of it, the confusion out of it, and it allows you to protect your own personal interests, right? So these people, so five elements, so I got to have two people involved at a minimum, they got to do it on purpose, I have to show their agreement, and I got to show how this agreement violate the federal law and the United States, which is the people. They got it. This is the corporation they have listed here, but we finna override the corporation and put the people back in the driver's seat, right? Now, this is how you do it. You go back to the beginning. How did this country start? It started with something called a Declaration of Independence. That's how it very, very first start. Right, so we go to the Declaration of Independence. Um, which should be over here somewhere. Declaration of Independence. Now, this is the Declaration of Independence that was signed on July the 4th, 1776. It was another 13 years before the United States of America was established, at least. Because this Declaration of Independence, if you notice, it says, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to, to the separation, right? So now, this is constitution.org where this, where this document is at. It's an actual uh, reprint of the Declaration of Independence. The next part we're going to get in is going to tell us that as an American, as an indigenous person to America, 
under the Indigenous Rights Act, it's going to give us our remedy. Because in law, you, if you levy a complaint without a remedy, they dismiss it as a frivolous case because there's nothing they can do about it. You provide no remedy. So in law, you have to have a remedy. So in here... The Declaration of Independence, how this country came about from the beginning, right here shows us what our remedy is as we the people as a collective, right in here. We're going to get to that in a minute, right? But we want to get to the part where it says um, powers of the earth. You see it right here. Powers of the earth. What are the powers of the earth? Right? And then it says... The separate and equal station, that means a position of something. That means there are offices that are separate and equal to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. So now, this is telling them that according to the powers of the earth, if you vex the grievance, it's right here in your Declaration of Independence, right? If the grievance is vexed and one of the people of equal station, the separate and equal station, these are all powers of the earth. This is talking about your native indigenous deities, your gods of the earth. It's right here in your Declaration of Independence that you call on the gods of the earth when shit get bad. It's tell you right here. You, to separate equal station. That means to break from the enemy um, without the enemy doing anything to harm you. That's what the equal station is. Mutual separation on the grounds of mutual respect. You don't do nothing to hurt me, I ain't going to do nothing to hurt you. But it's more of us than it is anybody else. Right? They said then the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them who? Who is it entitled? The ones up here who dissolved the political bands that couldn't get along with their enemy. All of it is in the paperwork. It's not a secret. Right? So as we scroll down, this is where to meet at. This is our remedy. In law, you got to have a remedy. It tells you exactly what to do when the tyrant is discovered. Right here. It says, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Stop. What the hell are they talking about? That means that it's so obvious that there can be no confusion. That all men are created equal. That means there is no separation in political party. There is no separation in gender identity. There is no separation in um, height identity, weight identity. All of the divide and conquer shit they laying on us right here. It says that it's an obvious truth that the divide and conquer right should not exist because we should be all created equal that don't mean that we are cookie cutters that means that the things that we have equal access to in pursuit of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness um it says that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights unalienable is the key that means that your rights that God gave you, your creator put within your soul, there is no man, government, woman, or child bigger than those rights, right? So your rights, are they can't be compromised, but you can surrender them of your own free will, but can't nobody take them from you unless you surrender them. There's a process by which you surrender them, right? So I'm going to read through the rest of this before I do a further uh, dialogue on this little section because this is the remedy. Now, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. That means that the government not superior to the people deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Who are the governed? That's the general body of people. So you got some smart men right here that instituted a government, right, that's getting their power given to them by the people, the governed, those people that's... So you the one with the power, not them. It says that whenever any form of government, this is the remedy, 
becomes destructive of these ends. It is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Now, this is the Declaration of Independence. I'm, that's where I'm going to stop with that. The reason why I'm going to stop there is because now it just said that we have to lay a foundation, right, on principles and organizing its power. So now, what we need in order to execute that in the remedy, in order to execute that, we need a law that would give us a, uh, our, it, it would tell us that the government is either fraudulent, one, or that the people um, have a claim against the government for some reason or another in the human rights arena, right? And three, we can also uh, have to find some way to prove that um, all of us have been deceived into participating in our own bondage. That's what I'm going for. Because the deception nullifies the contract. Now you got to keep that in mind. The deception, once discovered, nullifies the contract. The contract is no more good once you discover the deception. So now, how do we discover the deception first and foremost? Now we already know the police, according to what the brother just said, got the right to gun you down and not suffer consequence because you're a piece of property under the 14th Amendment. Now, sidebar. Notice Donald Trump gave a, a, a brief discourse. Contract is voided, yes. So I'm going to show you all the actual fraud. Once I show y'all the fraud, it's up to the people to determine if they want me to fix it or not. Kareem vexed the grievance. I have to answer it. I'm obligated to answer it. I can't avoid it, sidestep it, or duck it. This is the answer to why they're killing them in the streets. Not only is it the answer, it's also the remedy. Right? So now, my assertion is there's a conspiracy, meaning there's a group of men, wicked men, behind the scenes and has been so for a prolonged period of time um, with a puppet government that has supplanted the actual government of the indigenous people. Now, that is what I intend to show you. Now, first of all, you got to show, right here and show you that all humans in the Declaration of Independence, all men are created equal. That is no big eyes, no little U's. It's right here in the Declaration of Independence. Now, before I go into the fraud, we're going to scroll down before I exit out of here. There is a list of grievances vexed by the colonists against the crown of England, which the brother already identified as King George III. All right. Now, the next place I'm going to go is um, over here to where it says remedies for fraud. Because if you don't know what type of remedy to institute or what happens when the fraud is discovered, then you can't defend yourself. So right here, this is the Legal, Legal Information Institute, right? And it's quoting the Uniform Commercial Code because all of the laws around the world, this is what they're under. This is the Code of Thieves. This is the ancient Code of Thieves modernized and codified through Rome. It's called the Uniform Commercial Code now, and this is the reason why they run rings around our attorneys because the attorneys don't know the code. They know the barrister rules and regulations and they want what the law say, but they don't know the code. What code? The code of the law is the uniform commercial code. So right here it tells you remedies for material misrepresentation or fraud include all remedies available under this article for non fraudulent breach that means that anything that they did to breach the contract without the fraud all of that is also included when the when they did it on purpose right it says neither rescission or a claim for rescission of the contract now we got to look that word up 
Because this is not an everyday word that the average Joe know what it means. Recession. And so I'll go over here. See if this is it. No. No. Go back to it. All right. Copy it. Go over here to uh see I like for y'all to see me look it up in real time. Cause then they can't say, oh he's just crazy, he making that shit up. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I can show you better than I can tell you. Okay. The recessions means the the revocation, meaning the take back, or the cancellation, that means to terminate or to repeal or to take back of a law, order. Or agreement. Now, that means that, according to that, if the fraud is discovered, the remedy is to take all our shit back. That's the remedy. Here's a uniform commercial code. Put this in, um, um, Portia, this to, is this the to reference. Subsection 2 721. It's right here at the top. This is the whole thing. Now, once the fraud is discovered, then there has to be a remedy in law, which there is. But now, what's the nature of the fraud is the next thing we need, right? We have to know what fraud is. So now you need a definition of fraud in law. In law, what do it mean to commit a fraud? So here, we go to Wikipedia and we pull up fraud, right? And we validate this with... Black Laws Dictionary and Supreme Court Rule. I'm not going to do all that today, but y'all know that Black's Law Dictionary and the Supreme Court should be... So, <clears throat> I um, was given a 10-10 order to uh, um, explain the monkey man. So, I just had to make a 1010 post. So, I'm going to do some invites here. I'm going to do some invites because there's some shocking and amazing shit. I'm about to show y'all something um, that y'all are not going to believe. When y'all go to my page, <clears throat> the 1010 post is probably going to come up as a 1011 post. But I posted a 1010, but it took a second to upload because I was... uh. Writing, I was answering the question. Long time ago, <clears throat> Tupac and Maru Shakur told y'all, after the anger, um, after all of the marching and the singing and shit, you got to do something different. He went to a school and he said, what we need, <clears throat> we need some guerrilla tactics. Now, in Spanish, guerrilla mean warrior. It's guerrilla. But it's also spelt different in, in reference to the primate guerrilla in both English and Spanish. So, this is what happens. They tell the children to be wise as a serpent. Problem. The child whose mother instills that idea in them. If he's an earthborn child, he got what you call a monkey mind, or as they call it, the sacco mouth, the monkey mind. The natural enemy of the monkey is the snake. So when you equate the serpent uh, to wisdom, and the mother activate this idea in the mind of the child, Everywhere he hears something wise, once he understands or equates in his mind as a frame of reference, wisdom and serpents. <clears throat> so you see the picture of Sun Wukong um, in later po uh, earlier post that I made, slaying the dragon. You always hear us talking about fighting the dragon, slaying the dragon. What does this mean? They turn in a monkey mind of the human, the real organic earthborn human. The imposter, it doesn't work. 
They don't have a monkey man. They have um, a serpent man. So they take all of the stuff that we do, all of our wisdom teachings, and they program our wisdom teachings into something that they call an ego, a false self. Then they use mysticism to put the true self to sleep. Well, the women have contingencies for earth to wake warriors up in times of crisis as opposed to fathers and husbands.